Hi Aries, welcome back. I now want to move on to see what your relationship will be like, uh, potentially how um, the two of you will get on, if there's any challenges or any obstacles that will be in front of you and what this person is searching for in this relationship. So let's just look at that at a, as a whole. Okay, the Seven of Swords, the Magician, Ten of Swords, uh, sorry, it's Ten of Wands, Three of Swords, the Full card, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, as a whole, your relationship, looking at these cards here, starting off with the Seven of Swords, I feel like communication may be your biggest challenge, communicating with each other, um, not being direct or not being truthful with each other, Aries. The Seven of Swords tiptoes around the other person, especially if you are, if this is an air sign, but I generally think the Swords do represent communication verbal and non-verbal and I think there's going to be complications. I think your biggest obstacles lie in the way you're communicating with each other. I feel like there's lack of direction or lack of honesty that will occur throughout this relationship. Honesty about one what, what this other person wants, honesty about the direction you want this relationship to go, honesty about the pace, you know, being open and honest about the pace you want this relationship to go at. Um, I definitely feel like you're leading this relationship. You've come up twice with the full card and the magician card, and this is you in your power. Um, I think you'll be more dominant in this relationship, and I can see this person is tiptoeing around you. So A, they're scared to offend you in some way, Aries, or they don't want to be um, completely honest because they're scared of how you'll react is what I'm seeing here in the relationship. What I'm seeing is that this person is going to bring more into your life in terms of your relationship, new experiences, new friends, new people. So I really like what this represents. I feel like if you're coming into your power here, you feel like you'll have a lot of control over your emotions um, when you come together in a relationship. But I definitely see you being dominant um, here with the magician. Again, I feel like it's you that might be investing more into this relationship, especially at first, especially initially. I see that you'll be doing the hard work. Um, you'll be taking a lot of action for this person. Or this relationship is going to require a lot from the both of you. This is burdensome energy with the Ten of Wands, so I'm not sure if there's exterior um, influences, family, money, career, finance that gets in the way here. But I can see that the two of you are definitely going to go through some sort of test phase um, is what I'm seeing here. Now, I'm not sure if this is because of you or them, but I am seeing a potential third party situation. So you may encounter some sort of competition with this person, Aries, and it doesn't necessarily have to be with another person. It can be you're competing for their attention because they're committed to making money or travel or working on an autonomous project or venture. And because of this, I feel like you'll be doing your very best to show them your affections and your love. But I still feel you'll have some sort of complications to do with communication because because the swords, again, are coming up as communication, both written, verbal, um, oral, you know. So I do think this will be your biggest uh, um, your biggest obstacle coming up in this relationship, um, is what I'm seeing here. There's a lot of decisions that will need to be made when the two of you come together. But I feel like this person will take the necessary course of action. What I'm seeing here is really positive, that this person will notice how hard you're trying for this relationship and will also be committed here. I think, as I said, especially initially, I think it's you that's going to be quite committed in this relationship. Um, but I honestly feel like with the Ten of Wands, you know, it's, it's, it's quite an intense relationship, but I see that the two of you can make it work. But action will be required. Um, commitment and follow through will definitely be required. I feel like sometimes um, th this, this, let's look at the positives in this. Sometimes I feel like the relationship, there's going to be a lot of spontaneity in this relationship. This person, as I said, is quite a free spirit. I think there's lots of travel and or adventure that is planned for the two of you. So I feel like this is a relationship where sometimes this person will keep you on your toes and you'll be surprised not only by yourself, how you're acting and how you begin to feel, but also by this other person. They will also be surprised here. So I feel like you're taking a chance on each other here with the full card. It is embracing new energies. It is you in your element and your 
I feel like you'll be taking a lot of chances in this relationship, but a lot of good chances is what I'm seeing here, Aries. So that's very, very nice here with the full card. But it can speak of travel and relocation. Potentially, this person could be coming from abroad with the Six of Swords or work abroad. And as a result, the two of you might travel a lot or you might accompany them on their business travels, work travels or explorations or trying to fulfill Wanderlust um, or something like this, Aries. I think there's a lot of enjoyment coming up in this relationship. You'll be very physically attracted to each other. I think in a lot of ways, in terms of your career, if you're very career-minded and money-driven, I think this person will mirror you in a lot of ways. But the Nine of Pentacles is complacency and happiness and feeling really grateful in the in the sort of phase that you're in. And I think for the most part, there is a lot of harmonious, beautiful days, weeks, months, years ahead for the two of you to connect, absolutely, especially in the physical realm. So intimacy, spending time together, um, affection, things like this. I think will flow quite nicely. So I definitely feel for the most part you do have a very, you can have a very happy, beautiful relationship together. Um, I feel like you might spoil each other here with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, it is a card of spoils, of riches, of luxurious items and thoughtful giving. So I do think there's a lot of um, reciprocity, but this will come later in the relationship. The Nine is a large number, so I feel like this will come later in the relationship, not right away. Right away, I think initially you will be taking lead in the relationship and leading it in the direction um, you'd like to um, you'd like to go in here now the six of swords six of swords can indicate travel and movement and I do think improved communication will help your relationship I'm not sure if this person is sometimes dishonest or sometimes they have a lot of um, a lot of things they think about, but they don't always express to you, Aries, is what I'm understanding. So there's things that they often get conflicted about with the Three of Swords. As I said, it doesn't have to be another person. It can be something else that takes priority. Um, but I think because of this, and because of this person that might be confused in their identity, their sense of self, it might spill out onto the relationship. And you may find that the two of you are struggling to get down to what really wants to, to what you you both want I feel like this person has hopes dreams wishes or desires but they're for some reason they're afraid to express them now I'm not sure if they've been hurt before if a previous partner didn't believe in them or there's been no support or encouragement from a previous partner or previous love um, but I feel like there was a lack of support that hurt them deeply I also feel like this person could have been involved in a third party situation um, and this will actually affect your relationship. Again, communication. This person won't tell you about this straight away, Aries. But I think somewhere in their past, whether recent or distant, there's been some sort of third party or lover's triangle or deceit or cheating that has occurred to them, um, that was instigated by them. And they're not communicating this, especially not at the beginning. But eventually they will. They will come around is what I'm seeing because this is progress in the form of communication from turbulence into calm, serene, more um, harmonious times and waters. So... Looking at these cards, I feel like the improved communication will get this relationship flourishing where you want it to. So there's a lot of honesty and lack of judgment that needs to take place because I feel like this person has encountered obstacles um, with communication or with the things someone has said to them. Now, this could be verbal abuse, um, Aries, and I feel like if this is the relationship you're having, you need to be more sensitive more considerate and more pragmatic to what this person wants because I feel like they're wanting someone to trust them. I'm also feeling like they're lacking um, reassurance or support. I feel like they you need to be their biggest cheerleader. You need to be their biggest supporter because I think this is what they're searching for. Um, through words, words of encouragement, words of trust, uplifting words, Positivity, I think this is major for them. I think this is what keeps them up at night. So I do think they're heavily influenced by air energy or they are prone to anxiety, um, depression or, or uh, very high increased stress levels. But I'm seeing this that they're very consumed with what others think about you and your relationship and them, for example. So I honestly feel like the biggest obstacles that will be ahead of you will be communication 
but I can see the two of you can have a very, can set yourself up very nicely in terms of a living situation here, um, compatibility, adventure. I feel like you'll have a lot of adventure. There's there's a lot of newness, new starts, new beginnings. You know, you have the fool, you have the magician. So there'll be a lot of firsts in this relationship, Aries. There's a lot of firsts, more so for you than them, is what I'm seeing. Unless they're a fellow Aries, I feel like there's a lot of firsts that you will try, that you will experiment with, that you will um, resort to um, in this relationship here. But I often feel like this person will come into your life at a, at a time when there's someone else that's very important for you here as well. So you may encounter some sort of third party situation here. Um, you may be conflicted between two different people when this person comes into your path. You know, living situation could harm your relationship too. I mean, I'm seeing that this could change things for you. Um, if you are living distantly, if you are living apart, it's going to take more action. It's going to take more commitment and definitely more um, consistent communication, more truthful communication, more direct communication is the most important thing. But again, I feel like you're going to need to tweak the way you come across a little bit Aries because this person will not always be able to handle your fire is what I'm seeing when the two of you come together to a relationship. So what are they wanting? They're wanting marriage. They're wanting commitment. They want someone that holds the key to their happiness. So this is someone that is after their happily ever after. They're, they are after stability. Um, the Hierophant rules stability. He is a Taurus. So they are after faithfulness, loyalty, um, respect. And they are after engagements or marriage um, right now in their life, especially when they meet you with the Hierophant here. Okay, the King of Cups, they are wanting someone to love them. They are wanting someone that's going to accept them and all their imperfections, all their moods with the King of Cups. They are wanting someone that's going to stay with them through thick and thin is what I'm seeing, but especially creating memories, sentimentality, and being emotionally linked. So they are wanting someone that's going to reveal their emotions because the King of Cups is very expressive and reveals how he feels and how he's thinking. So they are wanting someone that's quite emotionally expressive here, um, Aries, is what I'm seeing. Okay, the three, of, the three of Cups, they are wanting happiness, festivities. I feel like they're quite social. I feel like they want to um, surround themselves with good company. They want to get to know your circle. They want to be on good grounds with your family with your friends maybe they haven't had luck in this area before but i think with the three of cups they are wanting to get inside your world and be able to get on with the people that surround you the people that respect you the people that know you very well is what i'm seeing so they they want to integrate into your life in a very very powerful way um is what i'm seeing with the three of cups here You know, maybe they want to experiment with third parties, you know, in the bedroom maybe. Something like this could also be the case as well for some of you. Okay, the last card, Five of Wands. So Five of Wands is it's a bit out of character, I suppose, but Five of Wands is um, lack of cohesion or other people getting involved. Um, so I'm not sure if they want the approval of the people that you're connected with. This could be it. If this is not the case, I feel as though... Um, they, they're holding other people's opinions in high regard. So in terms of what they're wanting, I wouldn't say they want conflict, but they could want jealousy or they could want you to be jealous or show some sort of jealousy. Um, they want you to be opinionated, but they actually care about the opinions of others that are around you and around them is what I'm seeing because they allow people on the exterior to get involved into your personal life is what I'm seeing here. But on some level, it might be what they want. They might want other people to care about your union and about the way the relationship is going. Um, but some, some could be a little bit, have that anger temperament. They could be, they could, they do want to see a possessive or a jealous side, but in a healthy way. I don't think it's in a very bad way. Um, I just think they want to see that you care. Um, 
you know, and they could pick fights over this sometimes is what I'm seeing here as well. But look, I will leave it at that, Aries. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you again for watching.